Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wolf here, and in this video I'm going to introduce how to use co-constructed feedback. But before I do, let's just talk about this unit in general. All right. So eventually you want to have, you know, your level of mastery three being here. And maybe after taking the formative, you're like, oh wow, like there's some steps that I need to take in order to get that three. All right. Now this unit though is not a unit that you just get like this. There are so many different concepts that we have to understand, right? We have to understand Newton's first law, we have to know the difference between mass and uh, weight. We have to know how to employ different forces, different equations, right? So keep in mind, even though you might have to take these steps, keep in, you have probably climbed multiple steps to get to that three, all right? Another analogy that I could use is, you know, you might have all these different pieces and it seems like it doesn't make sense, but pretty quickly you could put them together and it forms our image, all right? So again, all right, you... Even if there's some stuff you think you still need to work on, you've probably made a lot of headway. And let's talk about how we can make this uh, this final jump right here. All right, so the co-constructed feedback. Um, how we use this is this is a, this also helps in terms of how do I look at your summatives, right? I don't, or your formatives. I don't just look at the final answer. Right? I look at it in terms of what are your success criteria and are you showing a pattern of doing that? So for instance, if this is for LT5A, I would look at it and I would say, okay, um, do I have my equations for number one, all right? Yeah, I've got F naught equals MA, F naught equals FP, okay, FG, awesome, all right? So by the way, this might seem like, oh, you these equations are what was used. Yes, they're what was used, but you also need to have these equations. If you didn't have these equations written out and you showed a pattern of that, that would be a two, all right? So then I would go forward and I would say like, okay, well, did I, maybe I had these equations, but Maybe I didn't, oh shoot, I, I mixed up these. I didn't match these numbers. So I might circle this, right? Okay, and then, well, does that mean that you've messed up everything? Well, maybe you had this correct here if, if you would have gotten this correct, and this would have been correct if this was correct too, right? So you're gonna go through step-by-step step using this co-constricted feedback and, and give yourself check marks or circles, things like that. All right, now let's say you work on this and um, you got a circle here, maybe a circle here, right? And I don't know, maybe here, all right? So there's a few circles, a few things that are incorrect, but again, I look at just one success criteria at a time. You've shown a lot of evidence that you know this one, a lot of evidence that you know this one, and evidence of this one. If I were to look at this, it's probably gonna be a three, all right? But if we look at another example, all right, let's say it's this one right here, all right? And maybe all the FBDs are correct, and maybe all the claims are correct, but then when it comes to some of these explanations, like um, F, -net and F net causes acceleration to be the right, maybe you said acceleration was to the right, but you didn't say why, so that would be a circle, right? Um, or maybe you said the net force was zero, but you didn't say why, that would be a circle. Or here, uh, we didn't show how the net force and acceleration are linked, right? So maybe we start to see a pattern here Right? Even though there are less circles overall, they're all in the same column. So this is a pattern that you might still need to work on that applying cause and effect physics concepts relationships right here. So that would be a two. All right. So go through your formative. Take a look at the co-constructed feedback to guide you on that. Um, give yourself a score. Make sure that when you're done with everything, you turn them into the sub. Um, but before you do that, if you're like, well, Mr. Wolf, all right, I'm looking at this problem, but I still don't understand why this, like this, explanation works this way, go to my website and I have a video explaining and my thinking process through every single problem. All right, you're welcome to hold on to the formative in this as long as you want to look at those videos for feedback. If not, you can start working on the review packet. Thanks for watching.